one little warning. Please don't anybody make a mistake. Talladega, where will, is just as important as skill. It's about 12 feet wide. They're going to put a car in there. Oh, Talladega, where even the best driver is just a passenger on racing's great train of fate. And pretty wide behind you. This is unbelievable. Here, the leader of the train makes tracks to victory lane. But sometimes the train leaves the track. Talladega, a 500-mile race of nerves, where the distance from the white flag to the checkered flag can seem even longer. Do they all make it back around? After Texas Saturday, last Saturday night, the round of 12 will kick off at the 2.6 mile Talladega Super Speedway located in Alabama. Weather here, I wish we had Texas weather back because literally no cloud, no, very little chance of sun, very overcast, temperatures currently low 60s right now, and oh yeah, we do have a threat of rain, possibly in the area before this thing's over. So as of right now, they have moved the start time up about tw a good 20 minutes to shortly after 12.30 Eastern. So anyways, here's um, some info during the weekend and the other two final practice sessions. Two chasers start, at the, start in the last row today. It was because Zoex Moon... In the 22, Alvin Alonso in the 17 got in a hard rack in the opening practice session on Saturday. Both drivers were okay. Then later on in that same session, that during a during some pack racing coming out of turn four, the 42 got turned into the grass, hit the splitter. The 18 ended up into the wall. So both of those drivers will start at the back. However, Caleb Hoffman opening up the ra round of 12 with a pole today at Talladega. But after 14 laps, there's a good chance that anybody in this top 10, we could see a bunch of underdogs win this race. That's how fun Talladega is. Anyways, without further ado, here's your starting lineup. Row 1, we got the Aris Internet Toyota and the Exalta Coding System Chevrolet. Row 2 got the Furniture Row Chevrolet and the Drive to End Hunger Chevrolet. Row 3 finds the 55 car. Great qualifying run, by the way, by Jessica Shelton. And the American Ethanol Chevrolet. Row 4 finds the Dollar General Toyota and the Caterpillar Chevrolet. Row 5 finds the Bush Beer Chevrolet and the Nature's Bakery Chevrolet. Got Two more Stuart Haas teammates here in row six, Hunter Rizzoni, who unfortunately failed to make it out of the round of 12, or of 16 last week. And his teammate to the outside, Daytona 500 winner Nate Sherman, is on the outside of row eight. Let's see if we can mic him up. Hey Nate, Wally Dolan, Wally Dolan back, NBC booth, you got us? Yeah, 10-4 Wally, I got you. You've had really strong cars here at the restrictor plate tracks, just bad luck's falling you fell your way in the spring race. What did you do to make make yourself so good at the at Daytona and make yourself a strong favorite at the restrictor plate tracks? I just hit, talked to Dale Jr. a lot during this week and gave me a lot of pointers about how 
Now, if you have a, have a good car, a lot of people want to go with you. And especially since we have we moved on, we want to, we have a strong car. We just, but at the same time, this can be strictly a game of chance sometimes. The driver with the bet with a kind of average car could really get a line moving if he finds the push of the right guy. I finds the right pusher. That's why I believe this race may come down to. Anyways, our low Chevrolet is really good. We plan to be up. Don't plan to be back here very long. We have our have the five. I worked a deal out with uh, the tw twenty-five. I know a Spalding, our rookie on this team, to get him some pushing experience. So he's going to be push. Try to push me to the front. And we have a good. And we hope to put the low Chevrolet in victory lane. All right. Time for have a good day down there. All right, you too, man. You too, up in the booth. We talked about this in the pre-race. The here's our GE race menu. Thirty-four cars, just like always. Fourteen laps. And oh yeah, there's the threat of the big one. Especially when it comes chase time. Grand Talladega may be. A, not be an elimination, is an elimination race in the round of 12, but these drivers are on edge. Everybody wants to come out of here with a good run because, look, we get two more very demanding tracks after this round. We get Charlotte, and we get the quarter mile in Winston-Salem. Everybody wants a good run here to get into a good position to move to the round of eight and not have to be in a must-win situation at Bowling Gray where... The entire race is basically determined by chance. Here's our um, six HD onboard cameras today. You got Blake Dillon with the uh, Nature's Bakery on board, starting the tenth spot. Hunter Miller starting all the way back in twentieth with our Pitch Black on board. Caleb Hoffman with the Aris Surfboard, Internet Surfboard off on board to camera on the Toyota. Paula Moon with the Exalta on board. Jacob Tube with the Drive Den Hunger on board. And Dylan Murway with the Bush Beer on board. Rain, please. The rain has stayed away for now here, here at Talladega. Question is, can we, as we have a sellout crowd to open up the round of 12, here we go. Who can survive the 2.66 six miles of Talladega, 14 laps. We are green on NBC. Caleb Hoffman is, was able to get a big push from the 78, came up. Now the 78's got a shove from the 88. Now it looks like the 14's going to try to go three wide. Go three wide, but who's going to go with him? It takes one full lap for these engines to be built all the way to full song around this 2.66 mile joint. There's a little bit of three wide racing in the second group. Is out of turn four. 
Caleb Hoffman will lead lap number one. Down the back stretch. Looks like some guys are trying to go three wide. Looks like probably not the best decision for the 78 and the 88 to chop down is here comes Jacob Tube on the outside. Maybe he may try to get a run as long as he can try to side draft the 55 and the 19. He's able to get him separated and go right around into the front of the field leader here at Talladega, the 24. However, when you have three makes, guys, the same manufacturer and same motor, Jacob Tube's going to have to get, in this situation, Jacob Tube's going to have to get real wide if he wants to keep that lead. Think about it, he's got three Toyotas, and the first driver that's behind him that's a Chevy is Dylan Murway, and he's all the way back in sixth right now. Is see they've um, gone four on three wide for a few many rows deep actually right now. The entire pack separated within two seconds of each other. And thing is, problem with his drafting is. The drivers get out too far and then they get caught back up by this pack. And it just isn't a pretty sight when you see the 19 is going to try to come up to him here. Go to the outside. And again, if these drivers get caught side by side. Right, it's just going to bring this pack back, back together. And within three laps, they are already three by three by three. Look at that. 24-19-55. Sometimes in these races, a lot of this drafting is a game of chance. Which lane is going to happen? And especially when it comes down to later stages, when it, things start getting crazy and people start losing a lot of control of how they drive. I have it just creates those situations where you're like, what are you going to do? And oof, you get hung out by your original drafting partner. Because if you're a pair like the... Like, the 48 and the 25 had a plan to work together all race, get, get them some experience, but there's the 48 now, four car in line on the bottom, and the 25 is the fifth car in line in the middle. Now here comes the 20, getting a Big time shove to the front. Literally, he's getting... Wow. <laughs> They're getting a big shove. Oh, you just... Wonder why they're racing like this so early in the race. They're racing in these big groups, three by three. And especially since the last race, they were so orderly. Now, this is a far cry. They got, they know rain is coming and they want to be in this group. Group and hopefully not be one losing the draft. Like the 22 of the Zoic's Moon. Hey, hang, hang on, maybe she may have a plan. Her original plan was to maybe get a 
hooked up with an 18, because... 18. See? I talked to Zox Moon before, to, before today's race about what her plan was. Is push the 18 to get to the 2. Get to another Ford car and get a run. So far, the closest Ford 2 to Zox Moon is the 17 in this second to last row. She is the, he, Alvin Alonzo, he is the closest Ford to her right now. So, in a way, these, she's just waiting it out. Hopefully, she doesn't cause a caution, but at the same time, she's just drastically losing a lot of time to everybody else. Three, three wide racing all the way through this field. Looks like Jacob Tube's trying to go high. Middle lane. The middle doesn't really look like a good place to be in the corners. It may... Anyways. The middle isn't really the best place to be in, a, in, in this race because there's just no momentum. It may look quite kind of inviting. Judging by all the momentum these guys get into the corner, but once they get to the corner with this package, it just seems like all these guys just stop. These guys have stayed three wide all, almost all race long. Three wide, 32 cars in one pack. Well, 33. Re right now is the fifth lap is complete in the EA Sports 500 presented by NASCAR Heat Evolution. Dylan Murway all the way to the top side to the front of the field. Field, you're watching. Yes, racing from Talladega, presented by NASCAR Heat Evolution on NBC. <laughs> oh, we got... NBC's coverage of the EA Sports 500 is presented by NASCAR Heat Evolution. Start your run to the chase today. In stores, PS for now, for PS4 and Xbox One systems. Uh, oh, crash back turn four. Jake Basinger in the 56, M&M's Cup Series 29. Noah Spalding 83. DJ Harris in the 33 keeps going. As we are under caution for the first time today, and what a and if you're Zog Moon's crew chief, Todd Gordon. You may have just breathed quite the sigh of relief. You can see the 33. Gonna come to a stop here on the apron. 83 of no spawning coming through the picture here, coming on to pit road. Jessica Shelton, window net down. I'm sorry, that's Jake Basinger. He was the one of the cars that went around first in this group, trying to bring her, bring his car to the garage. You got Eminem's Cup Series is involved. The win. He was the car that hit the 56 and caused him to spin. And collect all those guys. Right. It just looked to me like. Probably right about here. Looked like. 
all these guys were coming out of turn four. The 29 and the 5 get together. Here's all these guys are going through the trial now. He gets loose, gets the 56. All these guys find nearly just find a way to get into this. Get by all of this right here. And then ends up collecting the 83. 33 at this point. Tried getting by. There's a normal, just a quite a narrow gap. Was, wasn't big enough for, that, for him to fit through. Through here on the inside. Locks it down. Coming into the trial. Gets the cone. And then contact here. All these guys just getting through this accident. 33 has gone to the garage. 29 down in pit lane. 56, 83. Also were the other cars involved. The 56 is also going to the garage. So, quite the interesting wreck. Went from... We were peaceful for about five laps, and then we've had the first accident of this race. Two victims taken to the garage. Here in, here in this one. And if you're Zox Moon, you're probably the luckiest girl in the world right now. She's going to get a chance to get caught up in the field, hopefully get some tires. Tires, possibly a splash fuel in case we do go get another longer run. Right here. As we get set for the restart, Zoax Moon went from starting this race in the low 30s with John. She was on the same strategy as the 18 to come out with him. Him so they can be with up to two is take fuel only. Think about it. The 18, the 19, the 20 get to be together in a group. And with the 11, the 2 and the 22 get a lot. Get... Well, the first two cars on the outside. I guess you could say it was was a pretty decent strategy, actually. A lot of um, shuffling going on as drivers continue to come to the restart zone. And by come to the restart zone, I mean come all over the restart zone. No, they're right. <laughs> As Hunter Miller was penalized for too many men over the wall, he will restart the back of this field. As the pace car gets brought down on, on down it do it. Here we go. Restart zone. Caleb Hoffman with a big gonna get a push. Green flag. 
the 18 quickly to the bumper towards turn one. And here comes the 24 already making a three wide gamble on the outside lane. The 24 Jacob Tube on the outside and could he go to the front? Wow, that was quite the move when you think about it. Great move by the 24 and the 88 to get put, linked up, pushed into the front of the group. Everyone linked up, two, three wide, the seven getting a, giving the 10 a big push on the outside, 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 on your tight, on your tight, bud, on your tight. Now, here's what I said earlier about teammates being able to link up. Link up, if you got a 19, now these cars here have a right idea of, you know, being within, in a group of cars. But what about teammates like the 4, the 41, the 10 that so far have really, haven't really gotten a chance to get linked up? Up there, stuck behind the 11, and in a way, they're, they got nowhere to go. Nowhere else to go, it seems like, too. Get there, get there, get low, get low, get low, get low, 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 block, block the two, block the two, block the two, two's coming hard, whoa, Robert Smith with a big move to the outside, he'll try to take the lead with very little help, here, this doesn't look quite good, now the 24's got no partner, doesn't have, his, have the 88 who made that beautiful push, and they're gonna come down, I just see it, please be careful, don't come down, don't come down, don't come down, don't come down, don't come down yet, don't come down bud, don't come down. Oh god, now in the way the 88, these guys are side by side, the 2 has no help, the 22 so far doesn't really have, have a dancing partner or a guy to push on, other than the 88. Paul Moon, how about that? Ooh, wow. Seven to go. And already four wide racing here at the back. And wow, don't count out Hunter Miller and Eminem's Cup Series. Because they just made up a lot of several spots here on the bottom. Now they're pretty well slotted in this group. The five needs to be careful, though. He can't be pushing the pushing too long, otherwise he's just he's gonna run hot, he's gonna have to pull out, he's gonna lose a lot of momentum. Anyways, up front is the 88 being pushed back out front by the 22. Now the question is, can the 88 get in front of the 24 as teammate? Ooh. Oh, oh, wow, that was tight. Lot, big contact there. This is the replay on the back stretch. Well, coming up the back stretch here. You just had that push. And, oh, trouble. There it is. Up into the wall. Three, four. Four of them get together. Is this the big wreck? Robert Smith in the two. Blake Dillon in the ten. Oh, wow. Any chasers in it? Low if you can, low if you can, low if you can, low if you can, bud, low if you can. Caution will wave for the second time. And this one, as they wreck in between, get another accident here in three and four. 
and that two car hit hard. Bounced off the 19, and miraculously, that wasn't a big pile up. That had the makings of a big one right there. Very hard hit right there. Do the 78s and also got out of piece of the incident. A lot of damage to the nose of that car. The 19 in it. Now with this caution, in a way this caution actually helps benefit the 88 and the 24 because they're right behind each other on this restart. Happened is the two didn't really see the 41 for you as half a car. He was half a car length in. And on his door, contact, got to the 19. Bunched, balled up 10, balled up the 7. And miraculously, this didn't collect any more cars. If this did... This would have not been pretty. Would not have ended well for any of these guys. Jackson Hunter, the winner net down on his car. Blake Dillon, the winner net down on him. And Chris Washer had that splash in season one. Has not had any luck since. He is the third car involved. He is taking it straight to the garage. And it looks like the two and the ten are having a bit of a dis disagreement. Yeesh. Tough break. Two more cars going by on the wall. Well, three of them bring in the total to five. And it was a shame, too, because all three of those guys in that group, the two, the seven, ten, and the seven, all had really good qualifying spots. They didn't just have good, good spots. They had great spots, too. Anyways, here we go. And the kids just get shrunken and eaten by that dog. Anyways, come to the restart. 22 and 19 behind each other. Near each other on a restart. When was the last time this happened? And the first restart. Four to go. Green flag. Now this is where everybody gets uh, gets a little crazier. A lot of drivers start pushing the limits, and whoa, 19 came this close to getting dumped right there on the restart in the 24 by the 41. As Brendan Little and Hunter Rizzoni hook up, and they are to the front of the field. New leader here at Talladega.
Hunter is only to the lead. Already three by three by oh, there they go. Three by three by three. Go further back. The three. Up into the wall. Spin it behind you, spin it behind you, spin it. Oh, oh, look out. Oh. 25 is involved. Up, he's got a lot of door damage. The nine. Pushed hard into that inside wall. Wow. I don't like the looks of that at all. Jeez. Wow. Yet another quick caution. You think these guys aren't getting crazy? No, not at all. But I don't like the looks of the way that nine got car got hit. Johnson Morrison is to his aid immediately. He came very close to getting uh, airborne. Where the... and Oh, that does not look good. Quite the scary sight here at Talladega is... The red flag is out. Because they need to clean the track up. On the back stretch. Wow. Oh my god. Look at that. The engine out of this thing. While wow, everybody was. Jesus. That's why Hunter Miller came to a stop because he didn't know if the where he was gonna go. Sheesh. This wasn't towards a where the nine hit was not protected at all there's just that inner filter these guys have to have if they're gonna race like this they're gonna stop them all on the front stretch there's that moment where you, that moment of patience these guys gotta have I mean it's maybe four laps to go but it just isn't right for these guys to be racing like this. You see him just getting carried across the track like that. Oh my god. Oh. That is... Now there is news that we can report here on the backstretch of Talladega that Matthew Powell is talking to crew members around him. He is dazed. May possibly. he the, They have cut him from the car. Because of how hard he hit. He They have cut him from the car. Jonathan Morrison was immediately. Since he came to rest. Uh little bit further up from the wreck of the nine they he people have come to their his aid he was the first guy there along with track officials and the, there's Jonathan Morrison pulling Matthew Powell out of his car Hunter Miller also being taken to a nearby care center so these are chasers one and two that were just taken out by Rex today. Today at Talladega, just now, very scary situation. Right there, out of that car, and he's walking. Bit of a limp. He does have a slight limp. We do have to note that. Jeez. 
see him walk into the care center. Wow. Look at the way that wall hit. Just awful, awful impact right there. Jesus. They have stopped other cars in the trial right now. With um, when we restart, we may have to go to. We are going to go to a green light checkered attempt here. Um, let's see, Blake Dillon has returned to the track. I'm sorry, there's Jake Basin to return to the track after the first wreck. With a completely brand new right front bumper. He may not be. Racing for a win. But who knows. You may have uh, points. He's just racing for points. Right now. Wow. Anyways, we're going to restart this race with two laps left, and do you think after that little um, moment of that scary moment, dude, these guys are going to probably tone it back? They probably will, seeing as that was a scary sight. Glad he's out, but wow, that was quite the sight. Now, it's going to be interesting to see who goes where in turn one. Also, tire issues on concerns on 88. Matt, after the contact when the 22 got pushed out and he just made the mistake, missed timing with the 24, Paul Moon got on the radio, told his crew chief, Greg, hey guys, and um, was told uh, his crew chief, Greg, guys, check for tire pressure during that contact. He says they were good. He looked did look good because he... Might have scraped it, but he's also worried about the 24 since he was the one that he came across, across during that uh, little skirmish, skirmish with the 22. So here we go. Anyways, this restart. First, we're going to go to a green-white checkered. Normally, trends at Talladega say green-white checkers are very chaotic. There's a high likelihood we may have the big one on one of these green-white checkers. It may not be pretty. Hunter Rizzoni may, is in position for his second win of the year. Apollo Moon to his outside. Here we go. Face of the rule, we have to three tries. For, if we don't make it around to the white, for, we will do it again up to three tries. However, if we do make it to the white and there's an accident or a problem, then the race is over. Two laps left in scheduled distance. However, we will go to a green-white checkered if we have to. Anyways. Pace car is off. 41 leads him down. Two laps to settle it in scheduled distance here at Talladega after a 18-minute red flag. 
Here we go. Inside, 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 inside. Oh, wow. Look at that. The 41 hung in the middle. Ford, who is it? Ford is bumper. That really may have just balled up the entire middle lane right there. I would not have done that if I was the four. I get you're trying to help a teammate, but there's just that line that you have to cross. And Jacob 2 gets put to the lead. Basically, the 41 just got rooted out of the way by the 22. Oh, this does not look good. This does not look good. This does not look good. Oh, God, this doesn't look good. One slip out of this pack, and the entire field is wrecked. In the th oh, there, there they go already. Hot Wheels 44 spin, ending to the apron, up the track, big damage. Oh. Several cars sideways in this one. Coming out of turn four. Uh, unfortunately, the other car he collected, 21, had damage. Oh, okay. Mechanical. It's mechanical. Wow. And the fact that we all made it around, may make it around here. Wow. Jesus. Thirty one just blew up, took out the twenty one. Basically anybody lagging in this pack is gone in this one. Big hit right there. Well then, this could mean Brendan Little, as long as he may not be in the chase, he can still affect the outcome of this one. Coming back from that leg injury, one of the most feel-good moments of 2016. Wow. Anyways, first attempt at a green white checkered. We get again we will get up to three tries. Eyes and man. These guys keep wrecking. We <laughs> wrecking like they do. They'll be the only ones left. Shit. Shit. Sheesh. Anyways, here we go. First attempt at a green white checkered. The goal make it around to the white flag. Knowing Talladega, well, the nature of Talladega. We're going to have more wrecks than you could believe. Anyways, without further ado, here we go.
11 and 16 linked up pretty well. Question is, can they try to stop the, 80, the pair of the 88 and the 24? Sixteen can't get too far out, but however, Jacob to immediately to the front with a big shove given to the 88 by his teammate, Jacob Tube in the 24, Paula Moon to the point here in three. Oh, that, this doesn't look good, this doesn't look good, this does not look good. Three wide behind them. The four coming on the outside. Eighty-eight back up to or the bumper at twenty-four. Up to cover the outside. Anyways, here we go. Three wide coming through the trioval. Oh, this does not look pretty. Last lap at Talladega. Do they all make it around? And more importantly, do they make it around in one piece? Oh, they're, look. Wow, they're, they're four wide back there. And here comes Jacob Tube. He gets the momentum, gets the 11 and the 16 loose. Yeah, oh, this may bottle them up here. They're just about ready to wad them all, all up. Oh, oh, going up, going up, go up, go up, go up. Go up, go up, go up, go up, bud. Jacob Tube all the way to the outside. Look out, this doesn't look good. Oh, they're beating. 18 to 22 get together. All over the place on the back stretch. There it is. Oh, there they go. It's the big... There they go. Run a little up the track into Dylan Murray. This is it. It's the big one here at Talladega. Several cars sideways. One of them up in the air. Ernie God does go upside down. Get low, get low, get by, get by, get by, get by, get come on, get by, get by. Get by the end this instant, bud. Get by. Oh. Hold it straight, bud. Hold it straight. Big wreck bond. You're gonna be a big wreck bond, you. Oh man. Oh, now they continue to wad them up behind them. Oh my god. Big wreck. Four cars racing back. Here comes Nate Sherman in the 48. Oh, oh, caution is out. You knew it was going to be big when you saw all those cars getting together like that. Wow. This means Jacob Tube survives all the last lap carnage. Wow. Damn, some of these guys. What? Hey. The 11 coming around. See which one of the drivers got through. Who going down into turn one?
and which ones didn't. Wow. Basically, this entire group was all over the place, and it, this was just a matter of time before they all started wrecking. Jonathan Wishard immediately out of the car after taking probably the wildest tumble we've seen in recent memory. One of the more wilder wrecks we've seen here at Talladega. Basically, the entire group, all but five cars were in this wreck. Here it is, let's run it back. Run it back, run it back, bud. There were four, they were very well five wide right here. 20 got tipped, and then all these guys just start going left, start going right. No place for several of these guys to go. It looked to me like the 20 in the process of trying to get up on the track. It's like there were two different parts of this crash before the crash ended. There's the start, the 20 getting together, getting up into the 4. Crazy tight near miss on this one. And then looked like these guys are starting to check up. 18 gets airborne. And starts taking guys out left and right. Oy. Brendan Little into the inside wall. Then the 22 gets turned. And as they kept wrecking in this sense, oh wow! All these guys just started wadding them up. As they kept wrecking and more cars kept coming into the crash. It bizarrely high rates of speed. Very similar to Arca wrecks. And 17 up into the inside wall. Down to the inside. And... There is, um, wow, 15, Darnell Matthew back in the car, Jessica Shelton jumped to the 55, Basinger to the 56, I think all but about 6 got by this incident now, well, 5 without damage, well, if you really think about all but 4 got by with no damage, 2 got by that incident with a little bit of damage, and the rest are just destroyed. Jonathan Wishard with probably the worst ride of them all. Up into the air. Onto his roof. Into the wall. And then the hit was enough to throw him back over. As everybody was crashing in this incident. Wow. Well then. Jacob Tube becomes the first driver in IOP Cup Series history to sweep races here at Talladega. A bunch of cars wrecked on the crash scene here. There's about five of them that could drive away.
A right now. And as of right now, at the moment of yellow, and the fact that Darnell Ma Matthew got by that incident on the top side just blows my mind. So already, a bunch of the remaining chasers in this one got wiped out. Out in that last lap chaos. And Jacob Tube is undoubtedly the king of Talladega. His, basically, the second half was riddled with cautions. First half of this one, relatively clean. 25 cars finished, were left running at the end of this race. However, if you want to count guys that were running it, well, I guess you can say it's been a chaotic day. A lot of guys ended up with a lot of damage, damaged race cars. All the drivers have been checked and released from the care center. And this is a staggering statistic. All but five, all but the top five cars in this field were in one form of wreck. So the original total of cars that were in the last lap chaos that were running twenty, basically a twenty car wreck on the last lap, featuring numerous hard hits. And as of right now, they have are changing this unofficial results isn't official yet. Okay, it's official just now, but it'll probably look different as we look deep in the night and look on uh, some videotape. Um, anyways, congratulations to Jeff Gordon with a good, Jacob too with a good run here at Talladega. Apollo Moon second, Nate Sherman third, Caleb Hoffman fourth, Sports Center Cup Series fifth. Darnell Matthews 6th, Jacques Moon 7th, Zach Speed 8th, Noah Spalding 9th, Derek Lewis 10th, Joshua Witt, Joshua Leanbatch 11th, um, you got KFC Cup Series 12th, Brendan Little 13th, Grayson Lacevedo 14th, Eric Gamer 15th, um, Alvin Alonzo 16th, Hunter Rizzoni, 17th, um, What If Racing, 18th, Dylan Murway, 19th, and 20th is M&M's Cup Series. 21st is Peyton Beasley, 22nd is Mason Powers, 23rd is Jake Basinger, 24th is Menard's Cup Series, 25th is Jake Basinger right here, Basinger, 26th is uh, Hot Wheels 44, 27th is Xavier Sandreska, 28th, Matthew Powell, 29th, Hunter Miller, 30th, Jonathan Morrison, 31st, Blake Dillon, 32nd is um, Robert Smith, 33rd, Chris Washer, and 34th, DJ Harris. Be sure to tune in next week, same time, to figure out who will join Jacob Tube in the round of 12, or round of 8. Next weekend at Charlotte. Of the six drivers that moved on, Jacob Tube moves on to the round of eight. Basically, as of right now, if the round of eight were to start next week, these four would be eliminated. So some of these drivers are in a tight situation. Where they're going to have to either A, point their way in or hope for misfortune, or B, just straight up win. And I'm sure winning will not be more important as now if they want to have a free stress, a stress-free ride in the Bowman Gray Stadium the week after. Anyways, Jacob Tube is another round of eight. Congratulations to him. Tune in next Saturday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Pacific, for the running of the UAWGM Quality 500. See you then.